the love of God, the grace of God, the love 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 of God, Yeah, we had a wonderful week of kids at Guatemala, and then we had a whole bunch of pictures to share with you next Sunday, but I'm going to have just a couple of audios from the school system from the Temple of the Company, so I didn't get any people to see it in the class from Paul yesterday from the Temple of the Company, so that is something that people are so grateful to be able to do. The electricity goes out in the community because the company is
Scripture has many examples of people taking for that. Many examples. But as I look at Scripture, the way I interpret that, the form of the human expression is that the human self de la humanidad y el crecimiento de la espiritualidad del pueblo de Dios. I think that the, the, the historic development of God's people from Genesis to Jesus and eventually to Paul and the other people. I think that the nation came out of the before it came to the world. And I think it is very dangerous for us to look back to the Old Testament the Bible allows us, and therefore God allows us to take the rest. Because I don't think that is the message of the scripture. I don't think that's an honest way to interpret the transformation of God's people that took place. The desire to go back to justify what we want to do. But I'm going to walk you through that a little bit. So, if we start in Scripture, as early as Genesis chapter 4, we have Cain and Abel, right? Two brothers, twin brothers. Anyway, two brothers, I can't remember. And one of them offers green harvest first fruit, and the other offers a monkey, and God accepts Abel's sacrifice and other by God's choice of his brother's office of the And he decides to turn his misinformation into the justification to murder his brother. And he does. And what he would expect from that vengeance and the opinion is to get rid of the body of the body of God's life. He removes him from the garden and places a mark upon his head that does not kill him. To take his life in exchange for the brothers. And he said, This will go to Manu, Jacob, La Primera Instancia de Ganza, y La Misericordia de Dios, and La Respuesta. I will take your money in exchange for the brothers. Then the story that is really, really interesting Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Jacob has some of one of his daughters, Zion, is uh, taken by another tribe. And the interpretation of what happened is actually under debate between, uh, between scholars right now. Some believe that she was actually loved, but that she was, uh, she was violated. She was, uh, her virginity was taken from her by the men of this other tribe, one of the guys of this other tribe. In some translations, it's because they were killed for each other. In other translations, it's because she was the race or Jews. Either way, Jacob's brothers decide it is their right to take revenge for their sister's violation. But not just revenge on the guy who did it, but revenge upon all of the men in that community. The father of the offending person asked Jacob, why don't we join our family? Since clearly he's worthy because he knows that his son is kind of justified or not for his brother, whether he loves or whether it's not, we don't know. But he wants to try and blend the family. Let's marry, let's drink. Don't wait to marry my children, and let's, let's join forces. And, uh, and Jacob, Jacob's brothers say to him, Sure, but you all, the men, need to get circumcised first. So he wants to be a part of our family structure, because that is the sign of a statement of threat. So they all submit to circumcision. Well, it turns out on the third day after you get circumcised as an adult, it's a pretty painful thing. And on that day, Jacob's son attacked and slaughtered all of the men in the same spot. Thanks to the 
that's a pretty gruesome story. But what happens after the is that the state of self is starting to be Now, nobody in the state is going to suffer. And we are going to have to survive it. Because he is going to have to take the state of self and the state of self and the state of self. We later on, we now have to the state Anyone who injures their neighbor is to be injured in the same manner as fracture for fracture, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. And that feels like a supportive argument for vengeance, doesn't it? But if it is that Abu Ghraib, what is that? So then after I do that, it's going to be split that I think of it in the gun track, it will say the Bible says the whole world. When we find these examples, the only thing that comes with the mental state of the young son, the little called the little son, 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 the Father of this, 
that they do spread it, the power of Jesus Christ, a universe, a different world, that the way that has been indicated and pointed to from the Old Testament forward, a way that has emerged in his life as the way that the people of God do to be in the world. Now, that's just a thing we never kind of see what this is going to does it mean you're never going to feel like vengeance or might be appropriate in this situation? You're going to feel it. I feel it. All the time. But what Jesus reminds us of is that when you feel it, you don't have to ask that to be done. You don't have to ask that to be You can see something different. Now, the work that I've been doing on the jump box, sometimes the community talks that raise our awareness of just what it is to do. One of the things that we have discovered is that this is a particular form of intervention on the jump box that is very, very effective. It's called violent interaction. Basically, men and women who have taken the vengeance of others and paid the price for sin. And that's not how it conversations what the inability to curb your urge to vengeance is being done. What the price will be to be quiet and to invite the other person. And they choose to move into and work the neighborhood of the hottest and most violent parts of the city. And when an act of violence is committed, they go look for the person who did it, or the person who was part of it, or the family of the person who committed it, or the brother or sister or granddaddy of the person who was part of it. And they say, look, Jesus' words from Paul 
Jesus is what is going on. And when he does that, we are inspired by him. We are inspired by him. And that's what it is. We have the courage.